Instead of saying but, what did we say we need to say instead of but? And, fantastic, all right. Instead of saying that won't work, how about we try X, Y, and Z? What would it take for you to consider X, Y, and Z? Instead of saying that's our policy around here, explain your policy. We have this policy because, and explain the reasons for the policy. Instead of you are being unfair, can be tempting at times, think you're being unfair. You can't expect us to have that done by Wednesday. I mean, that's not fair. Instead of saying you're being unfair, I don't feel that that is a reasonable expectation or I feel unfairly treated. There's nothing wrong with saying I feel that that's unfair, but the minute I start saying you're being unfair or I feel concerned, I'm not sure we can deliver that kind of quality work in that kind of time frame. What do you propose? Yeah. What would be a better option? Would you prefer this or that? And then put your proposition down on the table. Instead of saying, you cannot expect me to, help me understand your reasons for wanting X, Y, and Z. If I say to you, you can't expect me to, what I've just done is attack your position. Instead of saying, help me understand why that was so important. Doesn't mean you're agreeing to anything. You just want to understand their needs behind that because maybe you could meet their needs in a different way. What discount are you prepared to offer? So rather ask for what you want than saying, are you prepared to offer a discount? You don't want a yes or a no, a no answer there. Why don't you want to say, are you the decision maker? It is a terrible question to ask. You need to know who the decision maker is. But what could you say instead of, are you the decision maker? Hmm? Mm, it's still going to have the same feeling, Carrier. Will you make the final call? Just say, who else needs to be involved in the sign-off process? If they say no one, I'm the one that signs it off. You know you're with the decision maker. If they say so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so needs to be, to be involved, then you know that you're not yet dealing with the final, final decision maker. Why don't you say I'll need to check with my manager? That's it. So if you ever need to kick a negotiation up and send it to the managers, rather do it on both accounts. Say, so you know what, I think we are not managing to get away forward here. Maybe your manager and my manager need to meet to discuss, to discuss this. Because if the person has been a little bit stubborn and dug their heels in on their position, letting them know now that we're going to have to call the managers might get them unstuck, might make them a little bit more cooperative than thinking, oh, shucks, I'm going to have to go and call my manager to deal with, to deal with this. So you never go and check with your manager without them. Rather just go away and check. I'll need to go and discuss that and, and see. What do you say instead of how far are you prepared to move? Because how's a person supposed to answer that? Can you see why it's not such a good question? How far are you prepared to move? What else? Oh, well, actually, I could move to 10,000. Sorry, I didn't tell you earlier, but in actual fact, I can move to here. You know, you're unlikely just to get the person to now tell you where they can move to. Rather tell them how far you want them to move. If you can move to here, then I could do this.